Broadway, the culture voyage. What is Thai culture? To hear from another point of view, let's hear from the American retirees in Thailand. Hi, my name is Dennis Monzengo. I'm 68 years old, retired. I'm originally from Colorado Springs, Colorado, in America. Thai culture is is different uh, from what I'm I'm used to. Uh, there's respect for the elders over here, and back in the United States right now, you can forget that they, they don't treat older people very well. Uh, a lot of scooters over here. They drive scooters everywhere. And when, when I came here to Thailand, driving the first time, I was like overwhelmed by the amount of the small motorcycles, I'm going to refer to as scooters, small scooters that that come and just surround you when, when you're at a stoplight and they come in front of you and left and right and my, my big worry is that I might hit one of them and a lot of them don't have mirrors, they don't look, they don't have signals. Those are the ones I find that are the most dangerous because they're slow and they, they pull out in front of you. It, you got to get used to it. Hi, I'm Charles Huggins, uh, age 78 years, been living in Thailand for many years. I don't believe in superstition. All Asian people are very superstitious about many things because why would people think that these people know some special numbers that uh, they could provide to you and give you uh, an advantage to winning the lottery if, or whatever the case might be. But, uh, yeah, to me, that goes back to superstition. From the interview, we can see that thinking differently isn't wrong, but to live together, it's all about adapting, even for the smallest thing. This is supported by Stanford International University, 